Okay, sketches come in many different uh, shapes and forms, and there are very many different ways to produce them as well. I'm going to show you now uh, quite a few drawings and sketches from my archives. I always keep my archives. Whenever I do a sketch, it doesn't matter how basic it is, as you can see here, I'll always just keep them. Um, I very rarely just delete or discard things because I can always come back to them later. So it's always worthwhile, whether it's on a piece of paper, um, a traditional you know, sketchbook, or on your computer, try and save everything that you do. It's very important because what you think is bad one, on one sketch may come in to help you further down the line. So here we have a, a selection of just character sketches uh, and it uses two um, basic techniques here. One is the silhouette down here, which we can see, and the other one is just um, just very quick outlining and framing of the character in terms of the main proportions, the torso, the hip, the legs, etc. Um, you can see as well that I've added a little bit of shading, a little bit premature here to, to producing that. That was probably the first sketch and as you can see it's like, okay, abandon it, get back to the basics and then this is the flow here. Um, these are probably just investigations as to this head shape here and just a little bit of work on that. And then jumping down here, going into um, uh, the silhouette technique as well. So let's keep this fast and I'll, and I'll move through quite quickly. These aren't in any particular order actually, so, so there's no natural progression of the sketches in any way. So here you can see it's just some quick face studies. Um, we're looking um, very um, obvious really at the construction of the face here. These may have just been warm up exercises like we did earlier. Uh, here we can see some variations now in, uh, in what we're doing. It's a little bit tighter in terms of a drawing, but you can see it doesn't really make that much sense. And sometimes they don't. Sketches don't make sense. Um, the ideas um, come later. And um, so I can't tell you what this is because I have no idea at this time. I don't know what I was doing. It might have just been a, a very, very elaborate <laughs> um warm-up in terms of, or I could have just been experimenting with the surface, which is probably what it was in terms of trying to get some sort of metallic or, or, or sort of, yeah, it, it was basically some sort of metallic robot type, type feel. Um, so that was probably just an experiment. Um, again, very loose, some sort of bug creature there. And here I'm using a different technique here, using the symmetry tool inside of Sketchbook Pro, um, where basically when I draw on one side, it repeats over to the other side, so I get perfect symmetry. And this can be very useful as a technique to create different um, uh, different kinds of shapes. Um, this one, I mean, you can see quite a few things in here. For a start, you can see probably like almost like a dinosaur head here, looking straight on at you teeth here, eyes, and maybe you can see a shape there as a head, an arm, and a leg with a rather extended belly coming down here. So again, you know, just archive the image and then when you come back to it later on you'll see different things inside there. Very basic little character there. Some more organic type shapes here and using different variations of brush to kind of build up um, an, a, a sketch. And you can see here, this is, these are a little bit more um, finished where we've got this almost jelly-like um, jelly creature here with some hard surface um, attributes to it as well. So a mixture, a bit like a caterpillar when you can kind of see through it and see the all the internal uh, little bits and bobs in the inside. So you can see the variation, probably kind of I got the idea uh, of and through experimentation with the brushes and then started to base some ideas um, on that experimentation where I got this kind of nice look here and um, of this transparent um, surface 
and then started to formulate some ideas based on that. Um, this was probably because of you know producing these harder surface surfaces here in contrast with the um, transparent surface and then moving on to kind of the very sort of bony structures here. This one we can see here some kind of um, hedgehog um, character. Uh, we've got this rather soft underbelly here and, and these spines. Um, so very quick sketch. You can see down here it's very loose, very loose indeed. Um, just just enough for me to get some descriptions in of, 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 of the, the various limbs and um, thing, uh, identifying things with this character. Uh, very basic kind of stony type creature. As I said, some of these I can't really explain them because they are literally just a few m minutes, if not that, um, and then just save them. Uh, again, probably just the, the experimentation with it with the eyes here, and again back to that transparent. Uh, some silhouettes here of characters. We'll look at some of these in the future and then we'll do some various um, uh, work on these characters later on. We'll see these again. Uh, just surface technique here. Just a nice soft surfacing. Just coming up with some ideas. You can see some sort of alien creature. That softness is a theme through the past few of these ideas. You can see, by the way, that these are labelled. I know there's no particular order. I'm going through them now, but um, they were labelled as I was going along. It's a little bit too close there. There we go. We can see again that experimentation with the br with the brushes. using that technique of the soft brush, brushes with the transparency now and, and sort of bringing some more forms into, into there. Again. So you can see what a waste some of the space is here. I mean, I really should have cropped these down, but it's literally just um, do a little sketch and save it. I like it, save it, and I haven't even got time to, to crop it, crop the image down. So I think this was more of just an investigation here of uh, surface texture and just, you know, that's, that's rather weird. Some basic um, characters. Again, back to the uh, symmetry tool, bringing some head shapes together. So you can see some of them are more, obviously, a lot more uh, polished than, than other ones. And you can see here I was quite, you know, although we've got this sort of alien head here, I think the focus of this um, sketch, um, although it's given me a nice idea for, for surfaces and how to surface uh, an idea in terms of just using um, the airbrush tool. 